Hey guys, welcome to Max House, and today we are cutting Kobe's little hair. This is my son. So I've been cutting his hair for the last couple of years, and I think I've gotten better with time. Um, I always start off with brushing his hair. I have the Wall Designer Professional Clippers. I did get these from Sally's. It has like an adjustable arm on the side and the on and off switch. Excuse my ashiness, guys. I was just trying to get it done. Uh, but anyway, so... What I do is close it um, tight. I adjust the arm to where it's close to the tightest. And by making it the tightest, it's going to give that closer shave. So I always do it the tightest, no guard in the back, um, just so that I can really, really get it cut kind of almost as close to bald. And then I adjust it. So you see how it kind of came down some at the top? Yeah, I do that, and then that way it kind of blends it so that he doesn't have, like, no harsh lines where you can see, oh, dang, you cut, we cut it right here on this level. On the next one, we cut it right here. Like, you want it to blend and fade and, like, look actually nice. So I uh, cut up the bag, and then I slowly start bringing it around, and then, like, I just make it kind of a line all the way across. This here is a guard. It is the 1 16th or uh, 1.5 millimeter guard. Uh, I think, I don't know if the colors are the same everywhere. Um, depending on, I guess, which brand and company you use, the colors may change. But the guards kind of put a level of separation and kind of lets you continue to cut the hair um, at different levels. So this one is not going to be as close of a shave. However, I can still use that adjustable arm to make it as close at this height and then slowly uh, adjust it to kind of pull it back farther and farther and uh, be able to blend and fade it. So I just continue to go around kind of in a circle back and forth, just slowly tapping away at that edge each time. You see, I only go maybe a centimeter or so, and then I keep adjusting the lever, and then I'll change the guard. So it's kind of fully closed or at the tightest, and then I do uh, maybe a little medium height on it, and then I do the uh, the fully open height. And then I change the guard to the next level. This red one is the one eighth or three millimeter one. And as you can see, like where I'm cutting now, there's a difference between here and like his neck area, or closer to his neck area, that is more hair being left behind. And that's again because I changed the guard and I adjusted the adjustable arm on the side of it. So it really kind of gives that fade. Or say, I don't really know the difference between fade and tape, but all I know is what look good. So I go by that, you know? And so I like to leave a little hair on the top and kind of um, fade or blend out the sides and back. Um, I don't like the bowl cut. I'm not trying to have <laughs> my son looking crazy. So this other one, this is the white guard. This is the 3 sixteenths or the 4.5. And again, you see me just still doing the same method of tapping along. This one, um, I do kind of get into the top part of his hair more with it. Um... And that's just slowly blending it all so that it, it all blends into one. All of my supplies I got from Sally's Beauty. Um, the clippers are a little pricey and it is an investment, but I was okay with it because um, one of the main reasons I started cutting Kobe's hair was because... Like, I would just be too frustrated with the barbershops, like the wait time and you schedule an appointment and you get there and it's like freaking three or four other people that all have that same time to be there and stuff. So it's almost like going to the hair salon. So if my husband and son would go, like they wouldn't come back for three or four hours for a haircut that took like 10 or 15 minutes. So um, that and sometimes with field trips and school functions, like and between us picking them up from school, doing homework and projects and whatnot, and then having to come home, like I don't always, I didn't have time to always schedule 
a haircut and say if it's picture day the next day, you know? So like one day I just got frustrated and I was like, I'm gonna learn how to do this myself. So um that's what we've been doing. So anyway, as you can see, uh I'm still cutting his hair and as I like kind of start finishing up, I just start looking for anywhere where it kind of looks like there's a hard line and I just kind of go back with that guard I used in that area and keep using that adjustable arm to kind of still blend it out so that it looks better. And then I always just go ask my husband for a second opinion. I'm like, what is, did I do it right? You know, or take a couple of pictures and whatnot. So, anywho, but I just still go back in that area. For the most part, I go, especially at the bottom, I go against the grain. So, meaning that against the direction that it is growing. And when I get to the top, I may go along with the grain just to... Uh, Kind of more so be making sure that the hair that's up there is nice and even. But like I said, um, I just do that until I get the results that I want. Now, this is the Andy's Professional um, Tea Outliner. I use this to line his hair. And this is my favorite part because I feel like this one, it really come together. But um, as you can see, if, if you notice, like I kind of have the clippers like on an angle a little bit to tap certain spots, especially when you're coming around those ears, like I kind of turn it on an angle so I can be very particular about where I want it. And so my son's hair is kind of thin. Um, with thicker hair, you're kind of able to really, really see it, but you can still see the line on him. Um, but I definitely kind of slowly tap, 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 tap. And actually these kind of can hurt and cut a bit, especially uh, you got to make sure you all your clippers and whatnot. But I do a little tap. I don't leave it on there because, again, it can cut them. So I just do a little tap, tap, tap. And they do tend to get hot also because so when I first started cutting his hair and we it was new blades and everything, it kind of used to hurt him. But between, I think, uh, us using them a little bit and breaking them in and along with me getting better with doing it, like, and just tap, 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 tapping it, like, it's helped him be able to get through the haircuts and whatnot, but anyway, I just cut it, you know, and make the outline that I want, and then by slowly tapping it, you can also, like, avoid making mistakes, like, if I sit there and press it all hard in, you know, I can make a mistake, and next thing you know, I'm pushing his line back trying to fix that mistake, so when you just tap, tap and then you're able to look and see like all right that's right you know and then also you see how I'm using my fingers to kind of judge and gauge okay the line or the little point stopped on this side of his face on one side let me try and at least make it even on the other side so his points aren't like in different directions so what I do to one side I try to make sure I do to the other side and yeah um this is my favorite part y'all <laughs> Um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, don't nothing set it off other than having a fresh line. Like your, your haircut, you can go in between having a haircut, but you can have a good line that'll save you another week. So, and then just if you want to get fancy, you can add some stuff. I use the T outliner to, um, cut a little line in his hair because that's what he, uh, has been requesting. We, we try to give him a little style and do something different so he doesn't have just the same haircut all the time. So um, in doing this, what I've learned is, is that you just need to tap it. If you kind of keep it there and press or keep cutting, 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 it's going to end up making a thick line. So you just need to tap it. And if you notice, because it's kind of thicker at the front of that line and then kind of thinned out, which I did on purpose, I kind of liked it like that. I wanted it to kind of really show and then thin out. But as you can see, it's nice and blended. And then so I just use a little witch hazel to clean him up. He has to still go take a shower and get dressed for the day and stuff but um, and wash his hair. But I use some witch hazel. Uh, other people use alcohol, which I guess, you know, just works the same. But I just think that the witch hazel will be less um, intense or less severe on him. 
And then at the end, you use like a lubricating oil and clean your blades with a spray and you're ready for the next go around.